Welcome back guys and today is another Kids Coding Playground video and today we will be making a new game called Underwater Pong. So in Underwater Pong we will be learning these following concepts in Scratch. Understanding broadcast message. You know we still have to learn these type of things because it's really important to make animations as well using variables. It's like game like scores using random operator like pick random touching sprite if there's a sprite and you can touch it with like a ghost and like a thing it'll move loops like forever loops and if then loops and random position like it goes anywhere like something somewhere random so here we are in the project in the untitled project so we're going to rename this first to underwater pong then we're gonna start and delete the cat we're gonna take the backdrop go to the backdrops you can pick a backdrop let's pick underwater somewhere underwater because it's underwater pong let's take underwater one so first let's get the, our sprites so we have the beach ball sprite. We have the paddles, paddle sprite. We have the diver sprite. You can take any one you want, but I'll take one. We have the star sprite. And these are all our um, sprites. So we always have to start with the events. We always have to start. So first we're gonna work on the paddle sprite. So I'm gonna go a little bit closer. I think that's the max. Uh, so let's take the if when clicked flag, the flag right here, it'll do a command. Let's make it go to around here, around here. Let's go to motion, go to negative two, negative 140. Then forever loop. This will make it go on and on forever. Then set X, the set X. So it'll stay there and it'll. Now I'll make my paddle follow, follow my mouse so let's go to sensing and drag the mouse x block so let's see if it's working as you can see it's following my mouse so so let's work on the diver next the diver is just diving around so let's put him around like here and Let's get the one start. Um, then let's take the forever loop. So I'll do it forever. The so let's zoom in a little bit more. So let's take the go to. Uh, so it'll stay there. And then let's make it point in direction ninety. So it'll point. The way where it's pointing and I'm gonna make it glide around like here let's take the glide for let's say three seconds and then point in direction negative 90 so you can also do that negative 90 so you gotta click that so then it won't flip over so make sure make sure you click on this right here so it won't flip over <clears throat> so let's go negative 90 that's it um then let's glide three seconds back. Okay, so that's the diver code. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You also, you, um, well, let's make it like a good number. One is too quick, so let's make it three again. Okay. So let's move on to the beach ball. Let's see what code. So first, let's drag the, when you start, let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, that's a little bit too out. Let's go like around here, yeah. Mm, this one? Okay. So let's make a variable. Let's make the variable score. Okay? Variable score. So that's how this gonna say how much score it has. So let's make its score to zero in the beginning. Go to go to X, let's say around here, because it's around the middle. Turn fifteen degrees this way. Um Let's make it go forever, so then it won't keep. Uh, it will keep on bouncing. Move 15 steps. Um, if on edge bounce, so we might. So we are gonna take the if if on edge bounce. Then let's make another event, another a uh, start. So forever, we need to go forever again. We need an if then statement. So then, if then it's touching the paddle. So if it's touching the paddle, that means it will bounce and turn 180 degrees. So let's get that one, turn 180. Okay, and it's gonna move 15 steps. You have to put it in the uh, if then statement loop. If you go, you gotta put it in the if then statement loop and and wait 0 0.5 seconds. Let's make it wait a little bit. And then you need another if then statement. Make sure not to overlap it like this. Make it like right here so then it or else it won't work out. So let's, if then touching the star, touching the star, so we're gonna make um, a, a message called, no, a, a variable called run again. Let's make a variable, run again. This variable is to make it so if you hit the star it'll wait a few seconds before it shows up or else it won't um or else if you hit it it'll just keep on showing up so yeah so you got to make this one so let's set set the run again to zero if it's touching the star then broadcast hit star let's make a new message hit So, if it if you receive hit star, that means it will change the score by one. So then you get one piece of score, like one score. That's good. By one, and you have to wait, pick random seconds for it to run again. So wait, pick random. So this is where we learn pick random. Let's do one to five. Yeah. So and set run again to what run again to one so it'll pick one to five seconds before the star shows up again okay let's move on to the star guys so we always have to start out with the if flag clicked and yeah, let's, just, let's zoom in a little bit so then you can see it more better. So set run again. Let's get here. Set run again to one forever. Let's put the forever loop. This is a loop. Mm -hmm. And then you take the if then statement. And if you do run again, run again equals, you gotta use this one right here. Run, run again equals one. 
Then you go, it goes to a random position. It goes to a random position. Anywhere. It can be anywhere. It, and show, it will show. So then you can see it. It will wait three seconds. Let's make it wait three seconds. And make it hide. So it won't come that often. Okay, so... So the star, um, so this wait three seconds, it'll appear for three seconds, and you could hit it, it'll hide. So if you hit it, so remember that hit hit star thing we had, and then it makes it go, it makes it hide. So let's go in and let's run the game. As you can see the paddle, you hit the diver swimming around, you can get the star, uh, it gives you three seconds to hit it, and as you can see, my score is going up. See, it's two score. Oh, yeah, and you also have to, and you might have to hide the run again, the run again variable, so you cannot see. So let's save the project. Don't forget to save the project, or else it won't be saved. And let's play it. So the ball can bounce off the bottom as well. So the ball, it's just like a forever and then you just get score. Okay, so that's the end of our video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And please add a comment if you want to see what content you want to see around this around the kids coding playground section. And thanks for watching.